Hey guys, it's Spike from spiketech.be. Today we're gonna talk about this one. We're gonna make to learn how to make our own Tasmota build. Why I need a build so I can use the PCF 8547 IO expander. And uh, what I want to create is a module with four push buttons and four relay buttons. And this goes all together with one VMOS D1. So what we need is a little power supply, a VMOS D1, and a PCF8547 uh, module, a four board relay, relay module, and four push buttons for the whole project. And uh, for some interested, all the, these things, if you buy that at AliExpress, will cost you in total 60 euro. So for 60 euro, you got a module with a four relay outputs, which you can combine afterwards with domotics and your own system. This is a demo. Uh, this is here on this module. You can uh, change the address. This is our relay board, Wimos D1, and our push buttons. It works with the I2C uh, port. So. And the reason why we add the extra IOs is because you only have five pins uh, free for uh, use like you want it on a VMOS DE or a Node MCU, which uses the ESP6266 uh, module. So therefore, if you want to use these IOs, you got a lot of shit. You got uh, the device will reboot, nothing will work correctly. So therefore, we don't use this. We are gonna add some extra IOs with this, and therefore we're gonna use the PCF module. With this jumpers, you can uh, jumpers. With this jumpers, you can uh, set the address of the module and what you need in the user config. You see everything here. The site is not uh, <laughs> totally up optimized, but everything I'm told you find here. On this link, here we're gonna start to make our own build. Now we're gonna on a uh, site from uh, Tasmota, and you have different ways to compile your tools, but this one was the easiest way for me, uh, the Tasmota compiler. You click on this one, and then you scroll down on this page, to scroll down after all the explanation what you can do. You have here, so how starting to use the Tasmota compiler. You need a Heapod and a GitHub account. If you don't have them, just simply make it. So if you have it, just click on this link and everything will start automatic. Of course, yeah, because I've, I've used it before. The workspace is still open. I'm gonna open it again. Now, if, if you start the first time, it takes a long time before the port will get open and everything will work. So if you starting this one, this could take about two minutes before it starts. But this one, I've already opened it. So we go to the ports and there you see there's an open port public for the compiler created. You start it, always the first time you, you choose refresh source. You click on next. You can fill in your uh, Wi-Fi uh, configuration, but leave it blank because when you do it, sometimes you get errors when you compile it. You better can uh, add your configuration when you use Tasmotizer from uh, Tosmota. Now, what board do we use? Just leave it as this one, generic. You can, but just do it like I told you. We also want to use Dymotics, I/O port expander. Uh, you can't use this because this is based on MCP230XX module, so we don't need this. Always, always checks, always that we uh, add rules to our uh, module. So this is what we need. I need domotics so I can combine this module with my home automation. Just put next, but then this is different part, the user config override file. There you have to put on the devices you want to add in your module and therefore uh, go to uh, spiketech.com and there you can find here this is what you need in the user config just copy all this shit what you found here and you paste it in uh, in, in, in where is my compiler oh, uh, this one we're using if i add it there so just make it 
this is for uh, using the I2C bus. This is to use the sensor, the, the, the module. Uh, inputs and output in a sensor message, otherwise it won't work. And I also need this one. And MQ, MQTT input, you also need this, because when I add a rule, uh, you have to add rules for your buttons, on, because your buttons won't work uh, as well. So now I'm gonna start next. You can choose your uh, language you want. And then you can start to compile. So we're almost back because I've paused the video a little bit because uh, this uh, to build, to create it, it's about two minutes. And if you don't have any error here, it will create our uh, firmware.bin, which we need to use. So I'm gonna download this one. I'm gonna call it PCF demo. I'll write this one. This is no problem because okay. Now we can close this one. You can close everything. What we have here. So uh, now we're gonna start Tasmatizer. You can find it on Google, but I also will add a link to my. Uh, Computer. On Tasmatizer, we're going to use the bin file that we created. We opened it. It's uh, the 8547 demo. Just open it. Uh, be sure you use the right port because I have four ports, three ports. I'm going to shut off one port. Do a refresh. Port 12 disappeared. So my device is connected to uh, port 12. So I'm going to start to use port 12. Self-resetting device, Node MCU, Wemos. So this is everything we need. Now it's time to tasmatize and we start this one. So we're back. Our module is almost flashed. Everything went okay. Okay, now it's time to send our uh, Wi-Fi. You just click on send config. You enter your SSD from your network, your password. And you save it. Now these credentials will be sent to your Tosmota module. It will reboot. And if you wait a few seconds, I'm too, too fast. Now you get the IP address of the module. So it's uh, a home network. So I'm gonna open my browser. Browser. Just go to 79 and I enter it. Now you see the standard configuration of a new uh, Tosmota module. First you go to configure module, because we have to say what uh, are we using. We use a general, a generic module. On D1 I always put the SL. Uh, SDA 1A, just simple for me, and then the, the SCL you put on D2. This is also when you make the connection between the module, the expander module, and your Wemos board. Use this connection. You just save this, the module will restart, and now you see four IOs. Okay. <clears throat> and if you go to configuration, here we gotta set. Oh, oh I, I'll go back because this one is new because it detected automatically the PCF uh, module. If you don't have this, you can go back to main menu and you go to console, and there you do a scan of the I2C bus. If you don't have this, there's something wrong with your connection with the device. So I have a one which is uh, on the address uh, 25. So it's okay for me. Then you go to configuration and you have this one. If you don't have it, there's something wrong with your schematic or your connections. Uh, I use the four inputs as input and four, five, six and seven are outputs on my configuration. There I've put the relay module on. So I also have to invert the ports. Uh, th this depends on the module that you use. Some relay modules uh, needs a, a one to uh, 
um, switch, and another one needs a uh, zero to switch. And if you now you click, you have the modules. If you push a button, you see it will change of state the input, but it won't do anything. And therefore, we have to create some roots into this module to make it work. We go back to console. You go also back to uh, my site. And there you find the rule that you need to... Uh, this is the rule what you need. Rule one, we're going to add four buttons. One button, here's even an error on. But if you push the input one, you're going to... Uh, change the second module this must be a one but never mind for four buttons use this rule yeah if you see this is on pcf input zero input d null when it changed it toggles our one the next button is this if i change digital input one it will toggle power two and so on and so on here it is for three when I put input two, uh, two, toggle three, and so on. So copy this rule and pass it into the console. Just press enter. Normally you won't get any errors for the rule. And it's all not always certain that the rule is working directly. So always enter rule one, one. This will mean I will activate rule one now. So if we're lucky and I push a button now, as you can hear, the module is working. So far, so good. Uh, in the next movie, I'm gonna make a connection uh, how to configure this module uh, further to use with Domotics. Thank you and enjoy my channel and see you in the next movie. Bye bye.